Welcome back to a new episode of BMW Today. My name is Joy, and today's episode is all about the new 4 Series. With me here in Munich is Christopher Weil. Hi, Hi Joy. Christopher. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine. So, tell me, what is your job in the company? My job is Head of Exterior Design, BMW. That does mean I'm caring for car bodies, for all you see here, but also for the details, for the wheels, for the headlamps, tail lamps, and for the kidney, of course. Well, about the kidney we'll talk later on, but first tell me, what does the 4 Series stand for? Yeah, the 4 Series is uh, a stunning car for us. It's kind of a brand shaper for the brand. It's sitting in the center, in the heart of BMW. It's BMW at its best. And we wanted to divide the 3 Series and the 4 Series. So the 4 Series is its own character, and we want to show this with this car here. I like that very much, and I also love the kidney, but a lot of people are asking, why did the shape of the kidney change so extremely? Yeah, we at BMW, we have a grand heritage, let's say. More than 100 years of design, and there's a lot of cars with upright kidneys. Mm -hmm. And we took this theme and did a new interpretation. And we did it by purpose. We um, think this is the right kidney for this kind of car. I love the kidney. I love the expressiveness of that kidney. But people are, from the community are asking always, where do we put the number plate? And the number plate, this was a tricky one. So we looked at different uh, positions, of yeah. course. We said, okay, maybe it's asymmetrical, but it's always a bit kind of cheesy looking. Yeah. And then we had to, to look where to integrate it um, within the kidney. And of course, in this area here, you have the bumper face bar. There's okay. anyhow the, the bumper mm -hmm. itself um, for protection. And so this was the, the best uh, and the correct position for the, for the number plate. It's looking really good. Okay. On the street, this car is looking stunning. I already saw that in the BMW world and love it also. What about the new laser light headlights? And the laser light headlights are showing, of course, um, a lot of technology. You'll see the laser with this blue accents here. Mm -hmm. And uh, also there, some newness into it, so they are very slim. Um, you don't see the classical eyebrow anymore, so we focused on the double round headlamps. And also, the headlamps are pointing towards the kidneys as the lines do, so this is the center of the car. But here, visual technology. All together, it looks very dynamic. Yeah. Let's talk about the back of the car, over there. Yeah, the rear of the car, it also changed a lot. It's a lot different to the 3 Series, so we are showing width here. We have a really extreme stance on the car and uh, of course you see here the black details. We have diffuser elements here. This is the sport pack you see here, but also details like the tail lamps are very focused, very high-tech looking and they're three-dimensional. We have a shape here that's the L shape but very dynamic. Also different compared to the 3 Series. I love that 3D structure on the car. Yeah, that's, that's very cool looking, very modern looking, and gives the car a lot of presence. Earlier we were talking about the C-pillar. You changed the Hofmeister King. Yeah, we changed the Hofmeister King for this car, so the coupes should look different. Mm -hmm. It's all about dynamics, of course. And we tilted up the Hofmeister, okay. we push it forward. So the Hofmeister, you know, the classical one. Yeah. Or straight a little bit tilted in the other direction yeah. but here like the speed of the car um, the speed of the c pillar is pushing directly on the rear wheel and this is looking more sporty more dynamic as i can see you change also here the gap between the c pillar and this part it's called the delta right yeah this distance here we pushed a lot for it because um, if you take a metal sheet and bend it this extreme, it's not easy, it's a tricky one. Okay. And this was very important for us uh, designers, and therefore we pushed hard to, <laughs> to get this here. Okay, then let's talk about the side of the car. And as I view, the proportions are most important, for sure. So we have classical BMW proportions, long hood, we have the short overhangs, very fluent kind of uh, silhouette of the car, and a nice transition into the rear. And besides that, you see, of course, at the body side, the wheels, super nice wheel design. Also here, very new, mm. it's uh, coming in a frozen paint. Cool. It's looking very, very nice, it's very structured. I love the cerium grey caps on the mirrors. Yes. Yeah, the cerium grey is coming with the MP, and that's a special paint mm -hmm. for the special pack. Um, but besides that, we have a lot of muscle here. Um, it's kind of a soft transition. We have a crease line, which is sitting a little bit... Yeah. 
It's lower. lower. It was lower. I like the side view here from the front. Let's talk about the interior design. Yeah, the interior, of course, basically is coming from the 3 Series. But here, it's a driver's car, so everything is lent towards the driver. And, of course, color material combination here, and the finish is very nicely executed. I love the dashboard here. That's new. I've never seen that before. Yeah, this trim, this is kind of an alloy mesh, mm -hmm. and it's very reflective. It's kind of sparkling okay. in the sunlight, and it's also sporty looking. I like it a lot. And also the seats are new, right? With yeah, the, M the seats here. Exactly, that's the M Sport seats, and they have kind of a classical pipe design, also very modern interpreted, so there's kind of a nice stitching on it. The, the fit and finish is kind of on a really high level. What about the M3 and the M4? Are they going to appear like this or are they going to look very different again? Okay, I can't say too much. But yeah, just they're... tell us a little bit, the guys want to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they're even more expressive. They look stunning, really stunning. It's unbelievable. They are so strong and I think they're kind of bringing M to next level. That's really, uh, these cars are unbelievable. So let's go back to designing. When you started designing this car, did you have any, any car in mind from the heritage? Yeah, Yeah, definitely. So if you think of a BMW coupe, yeah. we think of the coolest coupe ever. That's the 3.0 CS. And guess what? Here it is. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. And that's uh, a very nice car. It's showing our heritage, uh, starting with the proportions. We have a super long hood here. You find the hood here as well modern interpretation, crease lines here, which are exaggerating the power in the middle, power dome-like. You find them here as well. So um, coming to the other details, the proportions I talked about, short overhangs also here, even the blue. So <laughs> that's that's the Fjord blue. Okay. Um, and this, and this here is the Arctic race blue. And it's oh. very, it has a lot of depth. It was developed for this car, oh, okay. for this car. And you see it's modeling very nicely. So. Um, you see a lot of um, sculpture here in every part and it's a very sporty color. It has a grayish, it's a grayish blue, which is... I, I love that color, I would say wow. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wow color, I would say it. And also well. the kidney over here is different. Yeah, kidney. If you compare this kidney to this kidney, you find where it's coming from. Yeah. So this kidney is kind of higher than its white. Yeah. You see it here. It's a new interpretation for the new millennium, of course, it should be very modern, but the reminiscence is there. And also the double round headlamps, um, which are kind of um, integrated in this black piece. <laughs> you can also find it here somehow. And also you know? the kidney is tilted. The like kidney the, is tilted. That one over there. Exactly. The short nose feeling mm -hmm. you have here as well. It's kind of the same very color, cool. but a few years in between. <laughs> if I ask you now, tell me two design elements you love about the new 4 Series. What would that be? For me, it's definitely the kidney. So if you see the mm -hmm. kidney on the road, okay. and if you see the car driving around, it's mm -hmm. looking stunning. It's really, it's kind of a hack turner. The yeah. car is super sexy. It's kind of <laughs> muscular. No, really, it's yeah. kind of muscular. It, it's sporty. It's BMW as it should be somehow. I love that because it's elegant and expressive. Yeah. That's very hard to yeah, combine. It's, it's super expressive. And if you see it in, in person, yeah. It's way different to the yeah. pictures. I would yeah, say. that's very true. Yeah. The second thing you. The love. second thing is, um, if you look here, it's uh, exactly this fender here, mm -hmm. because this is also new for BMW. I would say this muscularity mm -hmm. here that it's kind of soft but still powerful. Yeah. And I think this is also a highlight of this car. And yours? Oh. Your two favorite details? That's difficult. I would say I love the real lights, the new interpreted. L shape, I love that really very much. And I love the fact that the 4 Series is so much different to the 3 Series. So that is its own character. That's what I like really very much. Okay, Christopher, so we talked about everything actually about the car. We talked about the front, the back, the side, the interior, the design development, and also about heritage. Anything else you want to add? Uh, it's pretty complete, but I think one thing is missing. Um, we have to see the car on the road, of course, and we have to drive it to experience the whole package.
Well, thank you for your time. Hope to see you soon again. And you guys out there, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon again on a new BMW Today episode.